Today on GoPro Tips and Tricks, we're going to learn how to sync audio inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. What we've got here is three files. So we've got two different video files. I've got my uh, top-down video camera and then my kind of side-on video camera as well as the audio track to go with them. So each camera records onboard audio for its onboard mics, which sounds like absolute crap. And then I have a third-party recorder which records the audio which I'm actually going to use or my production audio. So we're going to go ahead and just start a new sequence. That's fine. Then we're going to drag our first video clip here onto it. Change the settings. Put we'll the second one on top. Uh, because I only use two cameras, I don't really worry about doing something as fancy as a multi-cam setup. But if you want to edit multi-cam, you could do that too. Uh, now what we're going to do is just drag down each of these little things here so we can start to the waveforms. Okay, now we're going to select all three clips, right-click, push synchronize, select audio, base off track one, hit OK. And then the program is going to do process. When it's done, we find that the video and audio tracks are all lined up perfectly and will play back seamlessly. The only trick here is to make sure that you always edit and cut all three of the tracks together to leave them all lined up together. Guys, this was a really quick video showing you how you can easily synchronize audio and video tracks using Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, I am using Adobe Premiere Pro CC, and if you don't have this edition, I, this is not a feature which is in the Adobe CS 6 or uh, lower. So if you're using one of those programs, you either have to use a plugin software to do this or do it manually. One thing that really helps to synchronize audio and video in post, if you're going to be using a third-party recorder, is to use some kind of clapboard or something like that. What I do because I'm cheap and don't have a clapboard is I just clap my hands once very loud at the beginning of the sequence and this is enough to peak both the audio recorder I'm using as well as the camera's onboard mics. Now that shows up as a spike in the audio track which I can then use later in post to synchronize if I need to synchronize manually. You can see that right here. So this will be a clap, and you can see that it gives a very distinctive, um, sharp point on the audio tracks of all three recordings that I can easily line up in post. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe, check out my channel for lots more videos, and like the video. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. I read all of them and respond to as many of them as I can. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.